What's up, everybody? I uh, just want to make a take a look at the NAS quick video. So uh, I want to actually take a look at the uh, the longer term picture first. So as you can see, uh, we we did make a head and shoulders, not the prettiest, but you can make out a shoulder, head, shoulder, right? This was a major support. We took it out highly likely because of this reversal bar. We're going to retest it. So that's uh, that comes in around 13,000, uh, maybe uh, 12, 12,000. Well, somewhere between 12,900 and uh, 13,000. I think that's where we're headed. Uh, let's take a look at daily on daily. And by the way, we still haven't taken out these this uh, weekly high from um, to activate this kind of reversal pattern, right? Usually uh, you take out a high and if you have a close above, it uh, goes a more bullish scenario, uh, more bulls are coming in to support the scenario uh, and price probably can drift and test this trail line here. However, uh, let's, we still haven't even, uh, we still haven't done that. So let's take a look at the daily. Um, and like I said, our long, longer term picture, since we took out this major, major support, it's pointing to about 10,000, which is reasonable given all the, that's not even, uh, well, that's about previous all-time high right here. Before, uh, this is the COVID uh, all-time high, and that's the sell-off. So uh, with, with um, maybe we're not even, maybe not going to go this slow, but at least at 200 uh, this summer is probably in the cards. But we're not trading um, months out, right? So let's take a look at what's happening uh, more in the immediate future, so to speak. So, um, one sec. So this is uh, one lag here. And if this is over, the 31A2 comes in around 13,000. So uh, plus this previous uh, support now turn resistance. So somewhere between um, 12,800 and 13,000, we're going to have resistance plus this, obviously the channel. So um, yeah, 12,800 will be um, uh, a formidable resistance. But let's, uh, let's, let's uh, see if we, if, if we can even get there. Uh, so far, I'm still long um, both S&P and NASDAQ. Uh, I was long US 30, uh, Dow Jones. I took profit on it today because I didn't want to have so much correlated risk running. And I made good money on the US 30, so I banked it. And I still left basically two pieces, one S&P, one NAS running. So obviously, this was a bullish flag. It, if you uh, measure the pole, it targets this resistance as well. So everything pretty much is pointing to uh, to this level. Obviously, this is an inverted head and shoulders, a, re a reversal pattern. So uh, the neckline distance to the uh, head is about 660. And uh, higher... All right, so a thousand, uh, a thousand points uh, from here. So a thousand points, that's going to be somewhere around here. So a breakout. But I think uh, head and shoulders never, not never, but um, often they don't complete fully. So not the full extension. Let's actually measure it. Measure it. Um, let's see where are my tools. Where. There we go. So if you measure the distance between the, if this is how you take, take the classical technical analysis target, right? So boom, boom. And we're going to target about 13, um, 13,350. So probably these highs here, but I, I, I honestly think, uh, we're going to travel halfway. This is going to be a, the big kahuna. The 13,000 is going to be a very, uh, very um this there's a whole cluster of resistances here 
the um, good news is, as you can see, uh, both candles closed right below the neckline and right above the neckline. So we can retest and uh, continue upwards in, um, in the upcoming European and uh, US sessions. It's not a lot big. That's not a lot of distance to travel to uh, um, three, 300, 400 points is nothing. So I think this is highly likely we're going to, this is what we're going to be tomorrow evening, maybe Thursday. So that's uh, what I'm looking at. And after that, we're going to reevaluate. Re if we're going to start seeing a rollover, uh, then we're going to start selling it. Why? Well, because the trend is still down. If we have a breakout, well, then we're going to reevaluate that as well. And um, maybe the, there's going to be a much deeper, deeper uh, recovery. So something so when this leg completed as you can see big recovery ensued so when this leg com uh, completes completely we can easily go maybe 50 percent or even higher at 618 before we roll over uh like i said the weekly target is still it's still uh targeting much much lower if this head and shoulders pl plays out but in the immediate future, bear, bear, bear market rally, as discussed in my previous videos, um, makes sense right now. So let's see how it plays out. Definitely, uh, there is this, there's a nice opportunity right here still. So if you're not long, maybe you can go long here, uh, stop see the here, here, and uh, enjoy uh, the ride all the way here. Hope it helps as always. If you want to like the content, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, or stop by uh, our free Telegram group. Link is in the description page. Hope it helps. Enjoy.